Hello everyone, this is Manish and today we are going to learn how to create calculated columns. So basically calculated ca columns are output columns that calculates its value at front time based on the result of an expression. So we can give the expression. So we can use other column values, functions, input parameters or constant with in the expressions. So I'm just giving an example. So there is a table which create which has uh, product name price what I want so if someone is buying a notebook I want to give him a discount of 10% if someone is buying pen I want to give a discount of 5% these things we can do it in calculated columns we need not so these things are so we can do it in the calculated columns okay so now there are two types of calculated columns the first is calculated attributes and second is calculated measures so the basic difference between uh, calculated attribute and measures is that calculated measures can be aggregated with some max minimum okay we can perform several aggregations onto it but not in attributes again calculated attributes can be created in all the views but calculated measures can be created only in uh, attribute analytic view and calculation view so very quickly we'll go with an example to how to create a calculated columns we'll see both calculated attributes and then calculated measures so first we'll go to our the attribute view with which we have created in earlier session okay so first we'll see the data Okay, first let me. So I might have done something into it. That's why it's showing this symbol. So I'll just do a validation and. Okay, now what I want is to see a data point. Okay, so think of a scenario like we have product ID, and what I want is to remove this A from it ok I just want numbers ok so this can be done but if I am taking a VACA it will give us 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 2 but if I am taking it as an integer it will remove 0 so I will take as a VACA itself ok I will create a new column with no A into it so we will go to data foundation then we will this thing will create new calculated column okay, so I am making a new ID new so ID ok as 10 so now so for that we will use a function called midster ok midster actually returns a part of a string starting at that argument ok so we'll quickly it's in a string function. Yeah, it's mixture. Now remove this and we'll go to ID. We'll when we double we can double click on it or drag and drop over here. And we'll start this with two. The first one can is already having a so I'm just I just want result up from the second character so I'm saying yeah okay now we'll validate it again and then we'll activate it so both are successful now what we'll go to semantics we'll see the data picture go to raw data and see we can see it over the new id does not have a into so these things can be done in calculated attributes there are lots of other things that we can do but i'm just giving an example for to create a calculated attributes now we'll create a calculated measure so for that we'll have created analytical view in our earlier sessions so we'll go to analytical view Okay. And go to start join and 
here again we can see calculated columns we'll create new calculated column okay see we can create calculated attributes also or calculated measures also depending upon this thing so i'm creating a measure so when we, depending upon the drop down we can choose what we want to create so i first i forgot to show you what we want to actually create so first i think we have done some things only validate it and activate it now i want to see the first position okay so what i actually want in this particular scenario if ha huh, so if the cross amount of a product is more than 40000 what i want see i want to give a discount so what i'm choosing if someone is someone's cross amount is more than 40000 so i'm giving some discount to it okay 10% discount to that particular product so what i will do i'll go to my analytic view go to star join new calculated columns right click on it calculated columns new calculated columns i'm just putting as a this count okay now i want to make it as a integer so we can choose this one okay so it sometimes it gets some integer then i want to create a measure so what i want i will use the if function just drop it so first condition so i will go to columns we we'll choose a measure if this is greater than 40000 so what we want to do at that moment of time what we want is gross amount we are giving discount 10% so we will give into 0.1 okay else it would be same there is no discount else we can also put zero no hmm. else we put zero okay okay first i will validate it then i will activate it so both are done now go to semantics see the data so so you can see when the gross amount is above 40000 the discount has been created if it's below 40000 or equal to 40000 there is no discount so we can create these type of calculated measures in analytic view and calculation view. so that's all for today thank you everyone